Okay, so I'm gonna be going ahead and I'm gonna show you how to um, uh, get this Fortnite application on your computer because um, I've been wanting to learn how to do this and I've checked there are a bunch of old videos online but they're all outdated and when you do them now it just gives you some sort of stupid error so I figured out how to do a newer way uh, on my own maybe there's videos on it now but here we go uh, I'm pretty much showing you this because you probably are like me and you don't want to have to constantly open the epic games launcher all the time and then wait for that the only time uh, you're gonna really need to open it now if once you do this is just to update the game here and there but I'm gonna go ahead and show you that this actually does work it is whatever this is uh, but yeah okay double you just double click the application and it boots up the game it'll go ahead and open up the easy anti-cheat whatever this thing is and then after that it'll load up the game so I'm gonna go ahead and actually just delete this shortcut here and I'm gonna actually show you what to do so go ahead and open up the epic games launcher and you actually want to go ahead and launch the game Okay, so once the game is booted up, you don't really have to go into the Battle Royale menu. Uh, you can just simply minimize the application. And what you want to do, you'll see down here, you'll have Fortnite. You want to right click it. You'll see Fortnite again. Right click that and click Properties. Now you're going to get this window right here. Once you have this window up and running, you can actually click Fortnite down here and actually close Fortnite. You don't need it open anymore. Uh, so what you want to do once you have this window open is you can see right here the location you want to copy it by clicking and dragging just copy the whole thing right click and copy once you've done that go ahead and hit ok to get rid of the box now anywhere on your desktop you're gonna want to go ahead and right click new and create a new shortcut once you do that it's gonna have to type in the location just go ahead and right click and paste that location that we copied hit next and hit finish now we're gonna have a folder here this is the folder where all the fortnite crap is stored now you want to go all the way down and you're gonna see four things four applications you're gonna see the fortnite client dash win 64 and then dash shipping and there's gonna be several ones right here and then there's just gonna be fortnite launcher what you want to copy is you want to do the one right here that says EAC Fortnite client dash win 64 dash shipping dash underscore EAC any other one won't work the older ones that used to be the old methods used to be to copy this one this one no longer works you want to access this one because this actually launches the easy anti-cheat launcher which needs to be launched before Fortnite so go ahead and right click that go ahead and click create a shortcut it's gonna create a new one and so what you want to do is the one with this little arrow right here, that's how you know it's the shortcut, go ahead and click and drag it to your desktop. Once you've done that, you can go ahead and actually exit this folder. You could delete the folder, the sh folder shortcut. And now you'll have this right here. Go, You could go ahead and right click, rename, and just go ahead and rename it to Fortnite. And that's literally it. You're done. <laughs> you have now Fortnite on your desktop. You could double click it and it launches the easy anti-cheat launcher, which will then launch into Fortnite. That's pretty much how you do it. You no longer need to go into the Epic Games Launcher besides unless if you want to actually update the game. That's the only time you're going to really want to go ahead and uh, access the Epic Games Launcher. But yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. It's not the most difficult thing in the world. I hope you enjoyed and uh, have fun playing Fortnite. Go ahead and uh, do it on your own.